Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're looking at setting up a face track no IR. And if you're happy and enjoy watching the channel, please hit that subscribe and like button. So let's get to it. So here's the interface, the UI for face track no IR. Now it's a fairly simple little affair. We have uh, a blank box at the moment, which will you'll see my face in in the very near future, but. Where we're looking at the moment is uh, is a range of files that I've already made. Now, I would suggest highly that um, you may, because this is reliant on light, so if you're in somewhere who's particularly light during the day, but it might be a bit dark or not, you may have to adjust these. But just go through, have a look. The uh, settings that I have here at the moment will work fine. Um, the FS Connect you might need to use if you're flying FSX or uh, P3D. So that's about the only other changes you really need to make. You can see some uh, boxes up on the right side there. They reverse the views around. Uh, sometimes your right may not actually be right when you get into the game. So you might need to reverse those around. You can see I've got a couple there in place. And these are the controls for your um, keyboard command. So you can add a whole lot. I only have the uh, center one at the moment which is control alt shift and Z. It's just a, a block which is really easy to do. You have uh, a couple of small controls there. You can save, as I say, save multiple different ones and you probably will need to set up individual uh, parameters for each of the uh, programs we're going to have a look at but we're going to have a look at um, X-Plane 11 in a moment so let's have a look this is how you would normally see the program when you first install it you can see the nice 45 degree line going across so the figures at the bottom show an amount of degrees that you need to move to get the result which is on the left hand side those numbers going upwards so um, if you go across to say 25 and then you only want to move if you move your head 25 degrees to the right or the left you want it to move 90 degrees left or right then that's how you can pretty easily work it all out but I would suggest you turn everything off to start with put everything down as I'm doing at the moment and start with the your the left and right looking left and right here with these two boxes you can see one the top one is right and the one on the left uh, down the lower is your left view so here we are you can see the camera has captured my eyes and around my face and uh, it does often help just to take your glasses off if you wear them um, if you happen to lose face tracking during the actual game so we're going to look to the right and then we're going to look to the left well that's my left as you can see and it's fairly smooth as you can see there now we have no up or down at the moment as you can see it doesn't move at all but we can put up and down uh, roll so you can tilt your head left and right and you can move forward and back so this is you know it's very very good with what you can do but it, you need to set it up and take your time first so we're going to have a bit of a look at it and then we're going to go flying and I'll show you the setup I currently have for uh, X-Plane 11 so now we've got a little bit of up happening now another suggestion that I have for you is that at the very beginning of the line as it comes up from the bottom left quarter if you touch the line with your mouse it'll put another little little dot there and if you can put that dot right at the very bottom and out at about two and a half to three maybe and I'll do that in a moment you'll see you'll see it um, that'll give you a little dead zone so you can move your head around a little bit and you, you know especially when you try to hit um, controls on the in, in the cockpit or in your car or whatever uh, it, it gets very hard if you, you can't quite keep your head still and you, you just keep going for it and you keep missing it that's a little bit annoying so give yourself a little bit of a dead zone and uh, that'll make life a lot simpler for you as well so here we go we're um now you can see those particular three out of the two bank of uh two pages uh your left and rights forward back and your rotation as well so um, now we've added a little bit there so I can move up and down I can move in and out 
and really the rolling of the head the tilt of the head um, is something you don't really need a great deal but you might find an application for it so there's moving in and out and you can see that moving up and down the uh, the line there so it's not a bad place to be but I find that uh, you know you can move it around again you can just put the line where you want move it around you can see it goes right off the screen there but it's a matter of just giving yourself and that, that's just that little little null zone there so it's sitting right at the very bottom and I'll do it with this one as well and I've set it there at about two and a half degrees so for the first two and a half degrees my head moves left and right and I would recommend you do it for every other um, option that you're going to use so that your head your camp screens not just moving around randomly all the time so I've had to reset that again just pop my glasses off and you can see how quickly it captures my um, the face again and we've got roll happening now up and down to yeah um, it, what you do find is if you move your head too far to the right or left sometimes it will lose your um, features on your face and uh, that's where the Declan clips come in and the IR lights if you have that that is something you can make or buy and also use with face track no IR but then you would be using IR with you so but it's uh, it's something you can do yourself and there's a lot of people out there that do it there's also uh, using the phone there's an app available out there um, that you can use and uh, along with face track no IR and apparently that is very good if you can get it working someone did contact me and say they couldn't get it to work so let's jump into X plane 11 and we'll have a little bit of a fly here now it's important that you go into the settings to start with and down the very bottom there you'll see enable track IR track hat view tracking in 3d cockpit just give that a click and then that's all you have to do in X Plane 11 to have it all up and operational providing you've got the program running first I know take that as a given you know you just when I uh, open the program it turns itself on and it is uh, just just about ready to go straight away so we'll take a little flight here in uh, my my hometown of Gawler and I've run into another youtuber just recently who also comes from the local area so here we are sitting in there I've got everything at zero and this is how I would suggest that you uh, you might start um, looking at what you need in your given situation so as you can see there I've uh, got that set up <laughs> with a bit of an odd, odd one there there we go so I'll try and set up left and right the same you can see the figures there probably looking at around about sort of a 90 degree look left and right and I think I've got that at about 25 or 30 as I edit this I'm having difficulty seeing the screen guys but you'll see it clearly in there so I'm looking pretty comfortably I can look right and left now that just lost my face there so I've got a left going quite comfortably now I want to have it have myself be able to look right so I'm just going to copy the the same settings as I have on the top box so this one says left uh, or right sorry um, so now I can look left and right and you can see it doesn't bounce around doesn't think it's very smooth so that is looking pretty good now what does get a little bit harder if you need to be looking behind you in say something like DCS or you want to look behind you if you're doing your combat game or uh, car racing and you want to look over your shoulder um, that can be a little bit of an issue but you can make the curves become increasingly more sensitive at the top so that they move slowly initially and then later on they will turn faster so you can look behind but you've got to be able to keep your face probably 45 degrees is about the most you can move it from left to right without the uh, the, the camera starting to lose lose your facial features and then not be able to track where you're looking anymore Now, if you want to go out and spend, uh, I think it's $150, you can get um, Track IR5, I think it's the latest one, and that is very, very good. Um, I would say probably a very high percentage, at least, of gamers out there that's, and other YouTube people 
um, who do games like uh, maybe Growling Sidewinder and uh, Hell Rainer and, and, and the other guys in DCS that I um, often watch. And I'd shout out to you guys if you happen to be watching. Um, I would imagine that that's what they're using predominantly and it's really smooth. Um, but is it worth the extra $145? that's a personal call that's something you have to do but i'm happy with this and you'll be seeing me uh, using this again pretty consistently when i make uh, future flying videos i did use it a lot in my early ones and uh, it just brings that little sense of realism to it to be able to look around now you can zoom in and out with your mouse uh, if you want to zoom in a little bit closer you can do that as well but it gets a little bit more sensitive to your view when you use that mouse zoom a little bit of movement will become a lot so there we can roll so it's quite natural isn't it and then you can see it's quite smooth i've set up those uh, little null zones at the beginning and i've only got a very little bit of uh, roll in there it's really something that i i don't have a use for in in this in this situation so here we have um, the other X, Y, and Z. So up and down. And up and down is very, very convenient um, because, and this is your right and left. You don't want to make it too much, otherwise you'll end up with your head out in the breeze. But a little bit of left and right movement is fine. Uh, a little bit of up and down is good because you might just want to raise yourself in the seat a little and just look over the cowl. Or if you're in a car racing game, you might want to just look up and out to check your your wheels as you come into the apex of a racing game or you might want to just stick your head out around the side of a building without exposing the rest of your body um, in a in a first person shooter and i could say that would be see that would be quite helpful instead of having to jump out full bodied you can just move your head out and have a bit of a look so you, you know that's something i think you'll find quite good uh, in whatever situation that um, uh, whatever game happens to be your passion so I think we're all set up now. We'll take a, a quick run around the circuit. Just checking out what I've got there. We're going to get it all up and running. Again, if it's taking time to catch your, capture your face uh, and you wear glasses, it's your, sun, it's your glasses. Just take them off for a moment and, uh, and put them back on. All right, let's go for a quick fly around the circuit here at, uh, at the glorious Gawler. Got a few buildings back here. I need to rebuild this one. My uh, my previous uh, building um, has got really got lost because all the libraries I was using at the time have all been removed. So got back to something somewhat of a cleaner installation. Okay, we've got stuck there again. Obviously, I've moved a little bit too far, so that's where your fine-tuning will come in. But really, a lot of these you can only do in-game. Okay, getting ready to go. Brakes are off. First stage flap. We'll have a bit of flap today because we head out. And we're on runway 13130. Heading back, and I know that because we're heading uh, east-ish, because those hills in the distance are east of the city of Adelaide. They run basically north-south along the uh, orientation of the on city. Taxiway. On taxiway. Okay, coming up into the white zone. off a little bit early maybe but uh, rotation 50 lift off at 55 climb away at um, 70 about 75 is where we should be and you can see because I'm not concentrating what I'm doing my speed is dropping back where it shouldn't be so nose down let's get that speed back we fly around we do have some uh, photo scenery from uh, overlay editor uh, and Ortho XP, Ortho from XP. Getting a little bit of speed as we head out. So you can see, as you do the right turn, you can just look right. 
as you would, which is very natural. You want to be looking where you're going when you're flying aircraft and uh, not spending your time staring at those damn instruments. It's not VFR flying is all about. So we're just going to continue the turn until we get roughly onto downwinds. It's not going to be the best of circuits. So there we are. You can see we're a little bit close to uh, 3 1 as we head back. And that is 0 5 going left to right and a 2 3 right to left on the cross strip there, which is the one we mainly use. So we'll head out. So you can keep quite aware of what's happening. You can be looking for aircraft, helicopters, gliders, and you can just lift yourself up a little and look over the top of the cowling. Speed's building up and I think we're a little bit close to the uh, to the runway still. So we'll just turn ourselves out a little bit before we turn around and we'll just have a sweeping turn back towards the runway to make a landing on 1-3. Powering back, pre landing checks. Make them look right, make sure we're all clear. And again, this is the whole point being able to look around and seeing what's out there. Around we go. Got the descent happening. The runway is further around, around to our right. You don't want to be any further out than this. You're in military airspace at Gawler be chased down by an F-35. So just bring around so we can keep looking, so we can look ahead, which is something hard to do uh, easy, easily um, with just using normal fixed views. So there we are. We've got a little bit of, uh, we've got about 17 knots of wind from right to left, so we've got a good crosswind landing today as well. You can see I've been blown across by it. I wasn't thinking about that when I loaded the uh, real world weather. And we are heading in, hopefully for a um, reasonable touchdown. And again, this is another one where your your ability to change your view, because you're concentrating there and where you want to touch the runway when you land. But as you get to it here, this is when you change your view and you look down to the far end, and you can see how the the cockpit comes up. Caution. And you On maintain taxiway. that view. There we go, and we're safely back on Caller Runway uh, 13. So that's your face track no way out, guys. It's pretty simple. You can see how quick it took me to, uh, to get it all set up and get it ready. Um, and again, just to reiterate, I think you probably need, depending on your lighting conditions, uh, uh, and caution if you have a um, window behind you that is uh, got a lot of light coming in through you might find that to be a little bit of an issue so you know just consider that when you're setting up face track but i think it's very very worthwhile and, uh, and i have enjoyed using it quite a lot I need to do some work on the scenery and uh, some good news as well is uh, we're looking to have vulcan come out in 11 point 11 point Five, apparently and there was a little bit of uh, a release today from um, official uh, Twitter from all that uh, from X plane so showing some performance so yeah hope you enjoyed that hope that was helpful subscribe and like if you enjoyed the channel and I look forward to catching you back here at let's fly VFR soon bye bye